so I messed up. I don't think it was really designed for that, but it's still going. This is a new optic offering from Swamp Fox. Swamp Fox, if you haven't heard of them before, have been around quite some time now, producing high quality red dots for handguns, for rifles, and they've really kind of carved a niche for themselves to kind of have a very unique design and different take on the traditional red dot site. Now, of course, red dots are one thing. They are awesome. They've been around a long time now and they're only getting better, but the evolution of a red dot comes with these new micro prisms. And that's exactly what this is right here. This is a prism site called the Raider. Now the Raider is brand new, just released from Swamp Fox. I've had it in for quite some time now, just running it through its paces, and it's held up really, really well. Now you might be asking yourself, what is the difference between a prism sight and a red dot? Well, a prism sight is about the same size, at least nowadays, it used to be much bigger of a traditional tube style red dot sight. However, on the inside, and I'll throw up some pictures here, the inside has an etched reticle and this one is the BRC, the bullet rise compensation, essentially a traditional kind of half horseshoe with a bunch of features packed into the reticle for any kind of sighting and adjusting you'd like to do on like a 5.56 five, for example, which is what this has lived on. Swamp Fox is also known for very clear, nice clarity in their glass and that definitely shows. Now before we talk about the nitty gritty and the details on this interesting site, we can definitely go ahead and throw away these caps right here. <laughs> these are pretty cool, they are attached essentially when you get it to to the prism site but for those who don't need the caps you can just take it off like that they also stack which is cool you can actually stack them together which is kind of neat kind of unique because you don't really see a whole lot of that these kind of fold in like that so you can stack them but for most folks you probably won't need the covers however the covers would have helped with the torture test that I put this through I had some fun with this thing uh, just to kind of mess around a little bit Kind of dinged it a little bit on here, there, but it's still running, which is good. After throwing it on some steel, throwing it in the dirt, bouncing it around quite a bit, and then washing it off because you need to make sure your optic looks nice and clean, even though there are chip marks all over this thing now. I went and continued to throw several mags through this prism site, the new Raider here, just to kind of see if it would still run, see if there's any issues with it, see how it is on actually staying sighted in after getting banged around and taken off a rifle, putting it back on a rifle, and I'm happy to report it did very well. 15 yards, five rounds, five seconds, top half of the target on my Cox Arms Guardian rifle. Here we go. Camera battery died. We're still gonna you know, continue on with the show. Ah oh, man, got it dirty. Ever wonder what plastic is like really made of? It just came out of nowhere, you know? Is it red? I don't know. It's weird though. Five rounds, five seconds, 15 yards. Still on <laughs> towards the bottom half of that target. Let's take a look. Shall we? There's the top half where I was aiming and roughly the bottom half. Opened up a little bit, but didn't shift. Up or down, left or right, that much at all. Could have just thrown that one right there, honestly, since I was aiming towards the bottom. Make sure I separate them out. Not bad at all. On the box, you have some details. This is the green reticle. I'll throw another picture up here for you guys. The green reticle, 20 millimeter. 
and it also has that bullet rise compensation on here. Not a whole lot on this box. Uh, Seize Your Freedom Swamp Fox Raider Micro Prism 1x20 Micro Prism Expansive Eye Relief Lightweight and Durable Versatile Mounting Capabilities which is great because what's interesting about prisms is unlike maybe an LPVO you can actually bring these in or bring these out quite a bit more similar to a red dot and you also have your adjustment here as well on the back to kind of help with any kind of clarity or blurriness depending on how far away you are and that actually is great for prisms because if you have a stigmatism like I do which is mostly in my right eye so you might see me kind of cross shooting handguns quite a bit with my left eye you can adjust this and it cleans it up quite a bit and not only that but with the adjustments on here that we'll talk about here in a close up in a second, the adjustments allow you to go all the way down and turn this off and you always have that prism etched reticle on there, which I can run the daytime, you can run it at night. Either way, it's a little bit different than red dot because you always have the sight with that prism etched reticle right there, ready to go. Opening the box, I'll try to open it and suctioned here. It is really nice, a really nice box here. A nice little Swamp Fox branded tool here. This is for all of your screws to take off the mount in particular off the bottom of this prism site here. I will say the screws, and here's a nice wrench for cranking down the mount. You have a sticker, it loves a good sticker, a nice white one for your darker colored safe or your bag or your hard case, whatever you want to do on there. You have a nice thick Torx bit right there because that is what's on the mount here and I love that. I hate, hate, hate seeing small bit sizes for these screws. Like it's okay to have maybe the small ones here, although Torx is probably better than your traditional hex there. If you do have that on there, that is just too small for the base itself. It's okay to have the smaller screws maybe on the prism, but I love seeing bigger, beefier screws overall. In here you also have a low mount as well so you can put that nice and low maybe for your AK or whatever you have on there. This is the higher mount or the mid-range mount and that's it. Let's take a closer look. I can show you some of the features on this. Quick close up and rundown of the specs and features. As you can see it is built very rugged in that design. You can kind of see it has a nice little ding there, a little dent but still holding its own. Nice green BRC reticle there. That BRC we'll talk about in a second. Now, of course, this has a warranty on it as well. It's a 50,000 rounds warranty, which is interesting. So essentially they're gonna take the honor system there and if you have one of these that mess up in any way, you can, you know, within that 50,000 rounds, send it back in for a replacement. So that's pretty cool to have a warranty like that. You do have adjustable buttons up here, up and down down there are 10 settings the bottom two are night vision so you can crank up all the way up or all the way down and it's gonna be hard to see with this lens with that brc and then if you want to turn it off you hold the down button for three seconds and if you turn it on you just tap the up button once and it goes back to the same setting you were at which is very nice this has the 1.6 inch mount right there. You can see that right there. There's also a 1.1 right there we talked about. There's also a taller one as well for sale if you want to look into that, sold separately. And there's also a honeycomb style anti-reflection device that can go on the front here. Not so much on this one right now. But if you don't bash the crap out of yours like I did for testing, then you can still do that. Winded elevation right there, diopter right there we talked about. Very nice, nice and smooth. Windage elevation has slots. Very, very tactile, you can hear that there. That's pretty good, a lot of times they're kind of smooth and kind of janky, but this one is extremely tactile nice reader on the front there if these mounts that come with it don't tickle your fancy this is a t2 footprint you need to kind of tell the pattern there with the bolts there so this opens up a huge variety of mounts for the t2 battery on the side 
should have dinged this up too bad. <laughs> right here, CR2032, very, very common. Seals up nice. O-ring sealed. Battery life for prisms now. They're a little bit less than your typical red dot, but it does have shake awake, which is great. So after a certain time, it does cut off the reticle. Now about that reticle, BRC reticle. Let's bring in this instruction pamphlet here. So instruction pamphlet, you can kind of tell these are a lot of the features. Now this is a pre-production model. So this site right here is just now released. So I have a kind of basic instruction manual. I don't have any kind of digital images of that type of system for this BRC for the bullet rise compensation reticle. So you can kind of see how it's set up, what the different points mean. Take a quick snapshot of this. Very similar to other reticles on the market that are that horseshoe shape and also very useful. You can kind of see where your holdovers are with this reticle. And of course you have a nice 102 MOA circle diameter there. So it's that close quarters engagement, but also bringing you out to that mid range, more precise shooting as well. So feature packed overall inside and out. Very cool. That is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of this Swamp Fox Raider. Zero issues whatsoever. It just runs even after being banged up. I mean, what can you say there? <laughs> Once you bang it up that much with that much of a ding, even on the hood here, not much to complain about. And then the feature set alone, I think they took a lot from looking at red dots on the market, looking at other prisms on the market and kind of seeing all right, what do we want to do here to make it more appealing? No more twisty knobs, a change to the buttons, nice flush wide cuts here for your windage and elevation changes. The diopter back here is really easy to activate, but still sticky and tactile enough where it's not going to just start spinning, right? And then of course you have the mount and I think the mount is very nice, very heavy duty, not too much material on there. So it keeps this nice and lightweight. Just prisms honestly might be the way of the future. A micro prism, you'll be set. Like again, I mean, you don't have to worry about batteries as much because you can always just run that etch reticle. They're robust. They have a good hard casing around them and they just work really, really well. And I do like these buttons, they click good. Obviously waterproof, of course, weatherproof works really well as well because that is how you keep these things clean. You get them in the mud, get them in the dirt, just throw them in the wash, you know? That's really what they're designed for, I'm sure. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, hit in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Take care, be safe, train hard, and we'll see you in the next review.